All right, welcome back to my channel. Um, so yesterday was eventful. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and put the, well, let's just go ahead and start. Um, I took all the pages out of a pocket that I did and I just wanted to load it before I started to, oh my gosh, you know what this is missing? I knew it was missing something. So on these little rings, I need to put some ribbon. So that's what I'll be doing afterwards. Otherwise, this one is ready to go. Um, okay, so yesterday I was at the grocery store and I misplaced my phone and somebody by the grace of God turned it in today after I already went through like making a claim and all of that. But I'm just so thankful that somebody actually turned it in because I cannot for the love of God, afford that deductible right now. So I'm just super thankful that I have my phone back. And it was crazy because it was almost like kind of nice yesterday to unplug. Um, and I was trying so hard. And y'all don't act like I'm alone on this. Trying so hard not to get frustrated because I'm like, oh my God, I need my phone. Um, how am I going to listen to my white noise at night? I need to listen to praise and worship in the morning. I like listening to sermons and Trent Shelton and just like so many things. And I'm just like, I'm not even trying to think about that right now. So I just sat down with the word of God last night and it was just really nice. Just not having anything to look at. Like, and we just get so easily distracted. So it was nice to unplug. Honestly, it was like super nice to unplug. Um, but yeah. So back, back to my journal, <laughs> little, um, side tech that I did down here. Of course, everything is fully loaded and embellished. Um, cute little mason jar up there. Really like the pages on this one and the blue and pink tones up here. We just tucked away a little, um, coffee stain paper with a newspaper and then a little side tuck here, botanical journal card, a little journal card back here. Um, and then this is the, um, glassine three pocket that I needed to finish and that's what I actually did um two days ago but um I didn't get around to making a video and then I needed to make like the little um pieces to go into the pocket and it's always fun I'll master this one day um <laughs> putting everything in with one hand um, and then, of course, you load it with your own things that you do, your own journal cards. You can take this stuff out, move it around. But I just really like to kind of set you up with some things that um, are fun to write on and just fun to look at, in all honesty. And then that goes in the last pocket, but we're not going to struggle with that right now. Little coffee stain guest check. Um, here we just did um, kind of just like a diagonal um, pocket. Um, little coffee stain grid sheet, a little collage here for you to write on. Using up my sediments, and of course, I'm layering my lace. I create my own ruffles. I do not sew. I'm not going to invest in a sewing machine right now. And in all honesty, I don't really have the desire to learn anything new at the moment. Um, while I am kind of learning different things as I go along but I just don't really want to invest in a sewing machine so I use a lot of hot glue a lot of tacky glue and everything is working out wonderfully for me at the moment um little coffee stain grid sheet and this little mason jar is an actual like pocket tuck that I did um up here we have another little newspaper and these are actually they fold out and it's three tickets I just kind of folded them up there um, here I made a little envelope um, and then of course I did a little charm dangle there super cute I love the flowers um, for those of you that don't know and I'm sure most of you do I have Lyme disease and co-infections as well as autoimmune and I have become like extremely like my immune system goes crazy with like different things that never used to bother me and if anybody knows chronic illness they know what I'm talking about but I am actually, I have a reaction to like glitter and like nickel. It'll literally like set my skin on fire and I'll feel like I have fire ants like literally all over me. So I have to be super careful. But these flowers are so pretty and I can't help it. Most of the time I have to wear gloves when I'm like touching these things. And I have to be careful not to touch my face or I'll get a rash on my face. Um, extra writing paper here for you this is a little um I don't know slant pocket we'll call it little um botanical cards back there for you 
a little uh, coin envelope that I made, a little collage there. So that's this beautiful journal. It's on my Etsy shop as well as that one that I already went over. But this one is 22 right there. Super cute. Um, there's a video um, on my channel for that also. But I actually just finished this one. Um, and this one will have like the ribbon um, tie around to kind of close it up. Um, I did those pearls on the front. Um, just some uh, silk ribbon on the side uh, of the rings. And super chunky but I really like the two rings because it just lays very nicely um, did a little glassine bag with some um, little journal cards collage coffee stained paper just kind of like to layer things uh, to give it a, a nice little look did a little ruffle down at the bottom journal card of course a decorative pen and then over here, um, do you truly understand? And this, I'm just going to be honest, um, I had myself in mind when I created this journal. And this just really stuck out for me as far as God's love for us and the grace that he has. Where it says, do you, you truly understand that this love in my heart never ends? So for me, um, God... Uh, understanding God's love is just like such a hard thing to do that someone can love you like know you and just truly like love you and to know like God's love as like the love of a father is something that I've struggled with for a very long time um so yeah um I just did that little card there that you can write on botanical journaling spot but I really like the two ring binding. I'm going to start doing more journals with them, like the signatures and like maybe two and three signatures. But for whatever reason, I'm just really loving. I'm really loving making these journals. They're just super fun and they're super cute and they're easy to use. Um, they're easy to like, they lay flat. I don't know. I just really like them. Um, here, I really like that page. I just did the little uh, time card up there for you. A little um, tuck spot back there. Really like those little mason jars. Super cute. I fussy cut my own, and then um, I I do it on a paper that uh, matches the journal that I'm doing. Um, here is just a card that comes out that you can write on. Did a little journaling spot with some coffee stain paper for you to write on. These pages you can directly write on. That's what I do on my journal, um, as well as just doing extra coffee stain either journal cards or index cards or guest checks and did a little cash envelope there these are the little tickets this is an actual tuck spot just put a little uh, cute journal card there try to make everything as cohesive as, as I can for whatever reason I kind of struggle with matching my colors or doing things that like you wouldn't think match but then it's like oh wow that looks really good together is something that I'm like trying to really work on I made this little envelope if I can get it off with one hand um yeah so that's on the back of that and this I just actually uploaded on my Etsy shop um, so the link will be below and I just want you guys to have a great weekend and count your blessings because we just never really know um, what tomorrow may bring.